Good morning. It's May 12th, 2020. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, today's the Craco softball special. So I'm here with Tasha and Stu. <laughs> uh, Tasha is our scorekeeper. She keeps score for us all year. Um, although she plays in a lot of other softball leagues and uh, is quite the first baseman and uh, hitter. And then Stu, he's a super fan. He comes to all the uh, all the games, all the tournaments. He's changing his wardrobe now to represent all of his different uh, fanhood. <laughs> super fan here. <laughs> um, so what I want to do today is just tell the story of, of our team from last year, um, which I think was pretty cool. And I, and I know it's it's only just a you know happened just a few months ago, but you know we're not playing any sports and we have nothing else to do, so we might as well talk some ball. <laughs> and. Um, Part of the reason why the story was so cool is that um, uh, the, the team owner uh, also played, the guy who was our, our sponsor, Craig, uh, he was the catcher, um, and he's played ball with my dad for over 30 years in the over 30 league. So you can do the math and find out how old they are. I'm not going to give away anybody's age or anything like that, but they've played <laughs> ball for 30 years in the over 30 league. So my, my friends and I, we, we just turned 30 this year and last year, uh, so we all just started getting into the league. and. Um, well, we, we all got together and won a championship last yeah. year, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to tell the story from uh, Tasha and Stu's perspective and some of the fans' perspective. Um, so I'll start with uh, Tasha. Um, what was it like, uh, I guess, uh, keeping score all year? <laughs> what, what, was, what was the vibe? <laughs> it was pretty cool. Some days were very down because everybody got down on themselves um but it was like a roller coaster like every inning was like everybody was on their toes you didn't know what was going to happen um a lot, a lot of times we didn't have enough guys to, to field a team so right, i would exactly. i would give tasha a score buck i'm like hey we have about seven guys this week and um that that's about all we're gonna go with. Uh, <laughs> so somehow we we filtered enough for the last two games of the year, but yeah, was, yeah roller but, coaster is a good way to put it. But when he did have those seven play only seven players, you guys you actually you on your toes. <laughs> you, you actually played good for a while. Then <laughs> then you got tired and it just went. <laughs> yeah, and that that was most of the season. Yeah, yeah that was most of the season. So so I, I want to get into the the last two games of the year. I want to ask Stu a question too. Um, this has been on a lot of the fans' minds. Uh, how much Dr. Pepper did you drink in that last game, in the championship <laughs> game? Because it was stressful. It was stressful. I mean, if you don't want to admit it, it's okay. I probably only had probably one. <laughs> but... But what was in it? It could have had its 24th flavor in it. Could have been some Captain Morgan in that big one liter bottle of Dr. Pepper. I figured as much. All right, the fans wanted to know. I was just one of the questions. They kept coming up in emails. I had so many emails about that question. So, um, so yeah, uh, let, let me lead in. Let's say um, the, the, the whole year, uh, we just, we, we, we had a lot of fun, but we struggled to find players. These guys had, uh, you know, different work schedules and, um, you know, different obligations. Uh, but the last two games of the year uh, were really the only two games that we had to win. Um, the last game was for uh, for seeding. I, I knew if, I don't know all the the different uh, ways it could have worked out, but I knew if we lost, we would have had to play an extra game to get to the championship. But we won, and then the next game we went to the championship. We won that one, um, and, and this is of our division. There's an A and a B division. We were in the B division, um, so that that last game of the regular season was was just kind of crazy because we were down. I think six runs in the last inning, and pretty much yeah. this seemed like this, you know, same old thing was gonna happen. I'm just okay. We were gonna probably lose, and you know, we, we only had nine or ten guys there. We didn't have very many guys that game. Um, and then somehow Craig, the the owner of the team, he comes up. He's the first one, just rallying everybody. He gets a hit. Uh, then I think Greg got a hit. Um, then I think the next two guys got out, so there were two outs, and I came up and hit a. Uh, uh, Home run into the right field corner inside the park. Oh. Home run. I, I don't know how. The only like, <laughs> I kept thinking the guy like the pitcher for some reason had told me his pitch sequence every time I got on first base. And for some reason the one time I got out he told me his pitch sequence. So I was like, oh, he's probably gonna throw those two pitches, and he did. And I dumped it into the right field mm -hmm. corner. So then I, I don't know. I came in and, and and Coos he's in there. He's just like, oh, if I get up, I'm gonna hit a home run. I'm like, all right, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and uh and Omar just punches a base hit. Well, he usually does. Yeah, and then uh Kuz comes up and it's a walk off home run. We're all in the 
in the dugout saying, calling it as he did. It goes, yeah, he's going to hit. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a walk-off. <laughs> Start drinking the beer now. <laughs> yeah, there's no, no reason and, to doubt him. And, and everybody needs to know, Clark has some wheels on him when it's gone. Out there, let me tell you. I was running for my life. <laughs> I just wanted to score. I didn't want to get out. He was, he was like, he was like Forrest Gump running around the bases. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> so, so we won that game, and and that that was, you know, I was pretty awesome. We finally, we finally got the the whole squad there for the next game, mm. and. And again, it's like the whole year we just wanted to get a trophy for Craig. You know, we just wanted to, you know, get another trophy on his shelf because he had sponsored so many of our teams. Like when we were young, like we were in our even real in early twenties. Yeah, rec league teams that he didn't even play on and stuff like that. So every once in a while, we'd win a trophy for him. I think we might have won two years, and and sometimes he did play too. And and so it's just it's really surreal that we'd all get a chance to play together again, um, and then have a chance to play in the championship. And then we we won that game too. <laughs> just yeah. Pretty awesome. Um, and see, I brought out the old scorebook here too, to, just to run down a couple things in that game, which were really interesting. Um, and then, oh, here is our picture from the paper. Um, and and yeah. <laughs> it's hard to see, but it was in there. But one thing I have to point out too is um, Craig. He had a huge fan following. Like yeah, the, his okay. grand, his granddaughter. And uh, her friends would come to all of our games and sit in the bleachers and cheer and and heckle the other teams and like, oh my gosh, it was it was uh, it was pretty crazy. Like, what what was that like, Stu and Tasha? I would, go ahead, Tasha, you go first. Um, a lot of the teams actually were pretty annoyed by everybody, but having that vibe for the players was amazing to have, especially cheering everybody on because. That's what you need when you're playing a sport to me is you, you having fans there to cheer you on is one of the best feelings that there is out there. Don't tell one of my baseball coaches in Little League. <laughs> Why? He booed, <laughs> he booed me off the team because my parents and everybody were cheering for the team. <laughs> Your parents were cheering too hard? Yeah, so he kicked me off the team. The other coach found out. They picked me up, made the All-Stars, and I had to... Game winning hit to beat him in the All Star game. <laughs> Redemption. I like yes. it. That's awesome. <laughs> but no, though, having them there, especially the last game, he didn't know they were going to be there. And they drove what? All the way from Williamsport? I think so. Well, yeah, I'm not 100% yeah, sure where they some were. Of them, some of them came from college. Yeah, That's to be awesome. there to the last game. I mean, I loved it the whole time they were there. It was. Guys, I thought were a different team when they weren't there. You're probably right. Yeah, he was. You can definitely tell. But I know one guy, one of the teams, Zamboric, I played South Rec League with Oh, him. yeah. He, he actually hated, <laughs> hated listening to, <laughs> to listen to him. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Yeah, we had some fans. It was, I mean, it was interesting, um, like, me being the team manager, I would just be like, my gosh, like, I, I, I got to put together a good lineup or I can't make any errors out there because, like, there's people out there watching us. It was, it was a weird feeling. Like, I never played baseball or anything in high school, so I never did anything and people were watching me. I'm just like, man, I better not mess up out here. <laughs> but um, so I just want to go over this last game because a few just kind of interesting things happened. We... We um we we ten run the team to to win with a, a walk off. It wasn't a walk off home run like the one that um Kuz had hit in the game before, but uh it, it was still cool. It was our, our one friend Greg who played second base and outfield. He scored and he he'd run a lot of the old old teams in the the days like back we played in the rec league. And so I thought it was it was really um a good kind of redemption uh, feeling for him too to score that winning run. Um on the, the I don't even know who hit the walk off hit. Might have been Aaron maybe. I I can't remember. Um. I look at the book. I got the book in my hand. <laughs> you have it right there. <laughs> I know. Well, well, the thing is, everybody pinch runs for everybody else. Yeah. It's hard to see who. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Yeah, it was Aaron. Yeah. So yeah, Aaron had the winning hit, and then Greg, Greg must have scored it pinch running for somebody else in front of him, either Dan or Ron. But speaking of Ron, is my dad. They call him RT. He had a home run in that game, like a like a big home run, like over the left field fence, and like, um, yeah. it's been a long time since he's hit a home run. Uh, and I remember coaching first base, and I, I I didn't even I was just speechless. I'm like, well, I guess we better win this game now. If my dad hits a home run in a game and we lose, you, goodness. <laughs> when he hit that home run, I was like, 
you guys, I thought you guys really had a, a shot of winning the championship we, after he hit the home yeah. run. Yeah. It's like, you know, the whole team was like, quit. After he hit the home run, he played better. <laughs> yeah, just everybody got into it. We, mm-hmm. we really felt that vibe. I mean, this whole scorebook here, everybody that was on there, I mean, got doubles yeah. and triples and home runs. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> so, I mean... I guess I guess that's it. I mean, we yeah, we we won and we're we're hoping to play some more softball this year. We just you know we're Haven't like I, got to go ahead yet. Yeah, we're we're all just waiting and and like I said in one of the previous videos, it's like we weren't trying to you know you know gloat or anything or we're just we're just trying to have some fun and talk softball and just hope everybody just you know has some fun watching it and uh, reminds them of something. I, I think it's a cool story just the fact that um you know th- those guys played in the over thirty league for over thirty years and I, I think they probably won some championships. I know they won two of them for sure in the last few years or whatever before we turned 30 but just you know finally that we all get to play together and um we actually accomplished the goal that we had that year is is awesome um so yeah we're it, open to play again it was really really cool to watch that's for sure all right well yeah we made this video for you craig uh hope you like it craig <laughs> yep we we filmed it in one take too so uh <laughs> uh the, no no rehearsal here or anything all improv um so oh wait the movie of the day Stu. oh yeah the, the movie, movie of the, the day, day of course is the sandlot and i forgot to do one for yesterday yeah. and that was it would have been the wolf of wall street but anyway all right thanks everybody have a nice day